and I don't know how I don't know how the Templars got it most likely just conquering they may have gotten it from a from what you call it just now um, from a Toledo I don't know let's check our reputation see if we can do something in the immediate future um Blue point one point eight. Hmm. I don't know. Let's get the paper controller. I was just seeing if he was near anybody who was uh, who an excommunication would be helpful for us, but it doesn't look like it. And these are all oh, friggin' uh, what are they called? Oh, this guy's excommunicated. Okay. Those guys are orthodoxes. So. I was wanted to see a Catholic Byzantium. I've seen a, I've seen a Muslim Byzantium once. Never a Catholic one. Um. I don't know. I don't feel like I've done enough to call it a day, though. So, I'll just... Kind of look at stuff. Uh, I guess we could play the, uh, we could play the, the give him a shit ton of money game. Um, it's not like we don't have enough to do it with. And then as our reputation drops, he's, you know, got more of a chance to, to join us. And then we could just take the provinces away from him manually uh, and see what happens there. I mean, we do have the emperor title and all that, so. Why is it, what's wrong? Why does it let me do that? What's up with this? Huh. It's not letting me select it, slide it anymore. We'll just leave it at that. I'll see what what what's up and see what happens hmm salic law no exclamation no explanation just salic law we can institute salic law institute salic primogenitor uh we gain 50 prestige we have a 10% chance of proud and 10% chance of, of arbitrary we're already proud but we don't really want arbitrary and uh, we don't really want Salic Primogenitor either. We can keep old old laws and have a ten percent chance of just and modest. Already have just. We didn't get modest, so you know whatever. Why is the church so rich when the peasants are starving and poor? Uh, let me know if you would rather me not show events like this. I mean, I kind of didn't show them for a while, but like this guy is pretty important. We could say because they are granted the kingdom of heaven, and we get a 50% chance of zealous, 30% chance of gel or generous, and a 20% chance of arbitrary. We could say, how about sharing your own then? 50% uh, chance of generous, 30% chance of just, and a 20% chance of skeptical. So, I feel this one is better. And we get zealous, so that's pretty good. All right. The the king of Sicily is attacked the Duchy of Verona, which is here. Um, they're at war with a bunch of people, including the king of Denmark. 
I don't feel that there's any danger in declaring war on them. But I also don't feel that we necessarily need to. So I'm not going to. Looks like the Pope's getting in on the fight with the Seleucs because uh, they've declared war on the Emirate of Kermanshah, which is part of the Seleuk Turks. And most likely they're going after these provinces, which I don't blame them for. Those are two of the best provinces in Mauritania in general. Uh... Not only just in Mor the Morocco area, so so yeah, that's pretty damn cool that more people are getting in on the fight. Um, it doesn't look like that they're going that they're doing very well. Uh, although they are beating Byzantium, it looks like to a small extent. And we've had Tunis change to Breton, which is excellent news. Um, Tunis is one of our kind of provincial uh, capitals. Um, oops, I unpaused it. Um, yeah, so we pretty much have a, a firm hold on this area now. Um, oddly enough, this is having a lot of trouble uh, with conversion. Uh, it's not really converting very well at all. Um, we've got you know the main chunk up here, but I mean even over here, like. The entire Arabia, like all of Arabia, <coughs> has been changed to uh, to Catholic, and even some of our, uh, well, actually, like all of our Mesopotamia provinces. Yeah, not even all of our Mesopotamia provinces. Like this one is uh, not even owned by a uh, a Christian leader, and it's Christian. So, um, yeah. Um, but I don't know. Maybe these, because of this, is this still here, so it's less likely to, to, um, convert? I'm not sure. Uh, but, yeah. It's good that this changed, though. Well, it doesn't look like he's gonna be, uh, doing the, the, kit, the Catholic thing. Let's we'll see what he gets at court. I think it's temperate. That's not great, but it's not bad. We have some kind of crazy water or something, because this is like the sixth or seventh crazy person in the last, like, I don't know, five years. <clears throat> and uh, here we go. Um, the Duke of Gellery, who was the guy that we wanted to uh, talk to about becoming the King of Brittany. Uh, so yeah, more king. We're the King of Brittany now. It's the last of our titles, but, uh, you know, we have completed, uh, for the most part, our little, uh, adventure into, into Brittany. Um, the reconquest isn't complete, obviously, uh, and, uh, we still have the problem of this guy having two of our provinces. Um, what is our reputation at? One and I can probably afford to take a province from him. Maybe this one, Leon. There's no reason to do it right now. Uh, we've got our king title, and, uh, yeah, uh, Denmark just recently made peace with Germany, and they've gained a couple of provinces, so Germany's even stronger than they were before, which honestly sucks, uh, because, you know, we're going to fight them eventually. Um, this is a good province, we, we kind of want it, um, for at least the duke title, um, and then we have to deal with with the Templars again to get our uh, to get our Duke title for Brittany back, uh, and th that's going to be kind of a, a kind of a difficult process, I guess. Uh, there's not really anything 
that's going to be a difficult process, I guess. There's not really anything stopping us from doing it now, aside from reputation, but... I just don't feel like with a 62-year-old king we should be getting diving into anything. Um, this guy's turning out really well. Uh, uh, one of the things I'm thinking of doing is taking the duke title away from this guy. Just the duke, not the count title. Uh, I can deal with that later. Um, and then giving my other, th that son, a, uh, a title over here. Uh, to basically even out the process. Uh, hopefully I can hold out another year. Um, I could die at any minute. <laughs> so, we'll just kind of see how things happen. And uh, I think I'll call it a session for now. I think I've done quite a bit. And uh, I'll see you next time on Let's Play Crusader Kings.